Just in recent years, it's become more of a drag to go to math class because it's always the same, just like lecture, but now I've, I've kind of seen the real world application of what math can do, and so it's kind of, I've just like found my love of math again. This might sound kind of funny, but I was like sunbathing, and the sun was, you know, setting, and it's two hours south. Um, and so it was kind of like hitting one side of me. I was thinking, oh, my azimuth is all wrong. I'm not getting, you know, the right exposure to the sun. I kid you not, I turned to my friends and I was like, this is how Flora should have told us about tilt and azimuth. It's like we're solar panels and we're tanning and the solar panels are making energy. Um, and we all kind of laughed about it, but it was, it was a cool moment. With the projects students do in math class uh, at the Island School, they're always tasked with more than just completing a math equation. That equation always has to do with real world data collected on or around our campus on Eleuthera. Here, you're thinking about what in the world is actually affecting each factor that goes into the math and it's not just like repetitive going through the motions. The angle from, of how high they are depends on where I stand. Here, the skill that I've really learned a lot from is being able to put what I'm learning into words. And so for our final assessments, having to write up and go through step by step what I'm doing has been one of the most challenging things, but also the thing that I've learned the most from. So we really find that students returning back to math classes at their sending schools bring back um, this understanding and ability to work through more complex problems and figure out creative solutions and approaches to these problems that they're seeing every day in pre-calculus, calculus and statistics classes back home.